Mullen Field in our matchup here tonight. The number five team in the nation, the Taft School and Avon Old Farms getting set to do battle as we welcome you here on this Tuesday evening. Mike Corey alongside Tari Candamary. Good to be with you on this one. What uh, intrigues you most here about these matchup between these two tonight? Sure, so Taft had their 12 game winning streak broken on Wednesday by an unranked Salisbury school. Avon Old Farms a chance to beat a big name team and show that they can play in this game. All right, let's take a look at our Geico players to watch here tonight. Who do you have? Start us off. Yep, for Avon, it's a tale of two Bens, starting off with number six, Ben Johnson, the team captain leading in points, 24. Ben Johnson in goal, 59.8% save percentage. For Taft, Peter Moynihan, number zero, described as the most dynamic player, also leading in points. And Matt Surin, the defender, has not been scored on yet in settled 6v6. And you talked about one of the goalies in Ben Johnson, the senior who's committed to Penn State, who's on the left for Avon Old Farms. For Taft, it's Ben Friedman, in goal, the Yale commit. Big opportunity there, Johnson for Avon. 162 saves this season. Friedman, also another phenomenal goalie, 58.29% save percentage. They're just about evenly matched. Let's go to our Axe starting lineups here tonight. Let's begin with Avon Old Farms. Who else are we keeping an eye on here in this one? Yep, keep an eye on Teddy Gabrielian. Strong on 1v1s and shooting, touted as a really, really great attacker for this team. All right, our Axe starting lineup for Taft here tonight. We talked about Moynihan, Ben Wick, pretty impressive as well. Ben Wick and a solid last name as well, leading the team, or second in the team uh, in points, and another play that we're gonna be watching. All right, so feed it into the middle, got knocked down, the rebound and picked up by Teddy Gabrillion, who you mentioned at the start, Tari, and the save made by Ben Friedman. He's gonna find a way to get that shot in. Shepard. Cross field here for Caden Parsons, who shoots and scores. And the first goal of the game belongs to Taft here tonight. We talked about Wick, Tari, 33 goals on the season for him. And how about this? Moynihan, but he's in the crease. Letting them get comfortable enough to get that good of a shot. Well, here's Rubenstein, and he shoots and scores. Ethan Rubenstein, the senior for Taft, 2-0 Rhinos. Goes up top here for Luke Shepard again. The lefty. Shepard feeds it into the middle. It's Parsons again. He shoots and scores. Two for Parsons. Three nothing tap. Don't let them run away with it. Up top a line shot that time from Thomas Baldini and the save is made by Ben Friedman. Another good luck. Score it again for Taft. Bo Page puts it in this time. The air there. Patrick Walsh, the senior, gives it up at the top of the shot. That time again, Aliegro and the save Friedman. The ball is loose, and Taft has it. Jack Elliott comes up with it here for Rustler. He's got it. Avon Old Farms gets hit hard. Nothing there. Taft the other way. It's Jack Elliott. Passing in front, shooting and scoring is Sam Lovell. And he's got it again, off the path. Oh, nice Point ahead, he scores. Started filling yeah. up the stadium. The walking they, they speaker the was on someone's back when they were walking it out last week. We did, we did, starring for McDonough. They won the MIA championship, so shout out to Kay Levy and the Eagles. For a couple weeks ago, I should say. Here's another goal for Taft. He did, he did. <laughs> Crossing my fingers, hoping. Tough to stop that one, though. Will the Yale commit? It's been outstanding. Friedman's been phenomenal. Coming in at that 58.29% save percentage. Just look how he's locked in. So dynamic and able to really get down on his knees very, very quickly as well. Nine saves in the game thus far. And his clears, the clears have been phenomenal from him. He snags the ball out of the air so quickly and just one passes it to whoever's in the midfield. A lot of different players getting involved too as well. They got 19 players going to Division I lacrosse in the near future. Got some ballers, but Lovell has just been shining. The way that he dodges so quickly off that step, stick skills, here we just see that little hesitation moving the defender. It's important to have those tools and be able to use them here. The stick skills showcasing what he's learned at Taft and why this team is succeeding. And I've gotten to work with and get to know and call a friend as well. I think that the community just has so many wonderful people and that's obvious here as well. Appreciate that. Here's a goal scored again by Taft. Trying to stop him from advancing towards the goal. He'll take a knee. 
Hard to have any issue, though, with what they've done so far in this game. And here comes the first goal for Avon Old Farms. Teddy Gabrillion, he scores it on the man up. But that's a man up goal for Avon Old Farms. Yeah, 15 seconds into the man up opportunity. And Avon, another chance to do it again. Uh -huh. Almost. They might count it. They Let's see, they do. It. They're taking another look. Just a great shot off the pipe, but just maybe right inside that pipe. Bounces back in and they count it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm sure that halftime talk described what the second half can look like with their will. But coming right back for Taft is Andrew Jimenez. He scores. His team and Still an eight-goal game, and it's 10 to two now, and Taft makes it 11 to two. Season for him. And they get the face off. Fitzgerald, another shot to score, Moynihan. Wow. On the ride. And that's a great note for young players as well. Just because you lose the ball in the offense doesn't mean you let it go, you get it back. Taft gets it back again on the board with Ben Wick. He Certainly a unanimous captain next year. One of the MVPs of this team. Taft scores again. Allegro shoots and scores for Avon Old Farms. And there he is, Wisconsin next year. Going to be linebacker for the Badgers. We saw in the college game, those fast shots are really tricky stick skills. Great take there, Bo Page. Nice take there by Page on the alley, left alone, no defender crashing on him. Colgate commit. You got your backup goalkeeper going to Colgate in another year. It's pretty impressive, but he lets this one through. Chance there for Avon Old Farms to finish the game with the goal. Now they get one, it's Seamus Rooney again. So he goes back to back with two here for Avon Old Farms. Five seconds left here as Taft with a convincing win here at home. 15 to 5, the final as they storm the field with a 10 goal win over Avon Old Farms tonight. Lacrosse fans of all ages storming the field, celebrating the win for Taft. And a great game by Avon Old Farms. Don't think that the score tells the full story. I mean, that team kept their intensity, their grit, their passion throughout the game. So much to be proud of. Taft pulling away. This is, I believe, the fifth straight meeting that Taft has won the game.